불렀어 불러 울려 불려 울걸 가지고 울려서 원남 버돌로 노르토 콜로 스쿠스부터 볼 로코 톰폼블라 후르코 톰블라 굿루킹 크라우드 나르카스파토 폴로 니사소 라카스파톰보 후르코 톰블라 와이 What was this? This is this is a risk. This this could be a mistake. This uh, where where are my contact lenses? Everything, <laughs> everything is uh, different than I thought. Uh, reality, what is it? What's happening? I have to change. Wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I made it. <laughs> wow. I didn't didn't realize there would actually be an auditorium here. I thought I was walking into a small room. Um, you know, I'm in the business of uh, inconveniencing myself physically in order to get to another place mentally, and so sometimes um, some people dress with you know they're, they. They obsess over what bow tie to wear or what shoes, but I'm always thinking what kind of multi-eyeballed tentacle creature should I wear to the event. And I guess what I want to speak about, since I'm in the business of uh, creature making and space transformation, and also transformation of people in that space, I want to kind of sort of actually do what is the scariest thing to do, which is to come out without a plan and I wonder, what is it that's so scary about that? And uh, I think what is intimidating is that we have a preconceived idea of what we want to do. And then we're worried about what will happen. Will we actually do the idea that we've preconceived and that we are committed to? And so what does that say about our sense of self? You know, we start to think about that I'm locked into an idea about what I want to do, but I might also have some issues with locking into an idea of who I am or what I should look like or what I should be for the right audience. And so what I found in my own career, going back to being a child who first experienced really fitting in by being different, and to explain that, I won't go into the details, it's only 12 minutes up here, but costume parties, Halloween, dressing up, wearing masks, getting that relief from being who you thought you were to being something in between and seeing people look at you with a fresh look. And sometimes those looks are of horror or of joy, of love. But the idea that it says a lot about the people also who are doing the looking and suddenly the space becomes really raw and real. So confusion is sometimes a great way um, to start a conversation because every minute of the day we are basically improvising some kind of you know, process. We are always uh, dealing with situations. So why should a presentation be any differently? So in the spirit of that, I've, um, you know, I've brought some, some props. Some people ask for a glass of water on the side. I usually just ask for a, you know, have a handy mask and some cool claws available. So, um, ah, when I have the claw, I feel like, uh, yeah, I have a different way of walking now, maybe, or maybe it's like this. Whoosh, whoosh. Sound effects are appropriate. Um, let me get to my clicker. So this is uh, what we do. Um, we are out there in the public creating parades. And uh, I'm showing you this slide because that is at a parade where we had 75 people involved. And there were only six of us from my troop. So we had to get a lot of people to suit up and to practice and become creatures in a short amount of time. And in doing that, they were all able to blur the distinction between who was a professional and who was uh, a complete new volunteer. And so the whole idea is that when your anatomy changes, your mind can change. So you know, our bodies, we always think of ourselves as being who we are, as a fixed portrait perhaps. But if you think of it, every single person changes throughout their whole life from childhood to the end. And so why can't we just think of it as a ride of costume changes? It's constant costume changes and improvisation. So 
the whole idea is that we want to blur the distinction or blur the boundaries between the audience and the performer, the party and the performer, the parade and the audience, the street and the costumed marching band. So um, this is an example of our taking over the streets of Central Falls. Once again, I'm just showing you some images that involve lots of kids uh, who are from different walks of life and different age groups. Um, in our experiences, we've worked with every kind of audience from um, you know, incarcerated youth to folks who are in every different kind of community from the disabled community to folks who are, who are in the steampunk, uh, punk rock, uh, Burning Man crowd, et cetera. Um, and we find ways to create our mission of transforming people. So this is, these are images from my creature creation class. These are students who um, at RISD have made their own characters. And uh, I, also, I also work with elementary school age kids and senior citizens. So uh, they work for uh, five weeks on a whole bunch of different processes. And then they take to the streets in these creature characters and start to um, create chaos and confusion. This is a birthday party that took place at the Big Nazo Lab. And um, I'm just showing you this too, because once again, if you look at that, there were people who came to the party who represented the matriarchal, patriarchal, the leaders, the, the, the people who are in charge and the kids who follow them. Or maybe there's a troubled kid in that mix or somebody who didn't fit in, or the kid who was invited at the last minute because they were part of the class, but no one really knows them. But in this shot, everybody is a creature. Everybody was running amok on the streets of downtown Providence. This is the one, only moment we got them to sit still. But as you can see, it's almost like this is the portrait. It's an alternative portrait of a human being. And these just happen to be the stuff that we had lying around the shop. And so my idea is that what we try to do is to empower people by embracing the idea that there is a lot of confusion to be improvised through in the human experience and that we should maybe alter our concept of it think of thinking it, of it being wrong or a problem or not what we planned but to take the raw ingredients of what's happening in real time and find a way to create something beautiful out of it or at least to find our voice in it so um what i'm going to do is um you know i mean i have a couple pieces here of uh, I'm not gonna ask for a volunteer, but you never know what might happen. We, um, what I'm gonna do is basically kind of put on a mask and kind of show you how something like that could change. Um, I was gonna, ma'am, <laughs> there's gonna, I'm gonna do that right in the Q and A. I just was, okay. <laughs> Um, anyway, so uh, when you do this kind of work, sometimes you do attract, you know, um, interesting, all right. <laughs> Excuse the interruption. I'm yeah. so sorry. Hi, I'm Anita Crack and stuff. I just had a quick question. This is very conscious raising. Yes. Yeah. What's your question? I just thought maybe you could help my son. My son Gary. They started calling him Globo, and then I started even calling him Globo, and it's getting out of control with his social anxiety. Hi, I'm Anita Crack and stuff. My goodness. Uh, I'm Big Nazo's biggest fan. I, I know he can help my son Gary. Well, okay. So Gary's so, here. Gary's here, but he doesn't come out right away because he has that, the, he thinks they might call him Globo. So if you promise not to call him Globo or whatnot, well, he knows the code if he's safe. So, so Gary, it's safe to come out if you're ready to come out, Gary. It's okay. Why don't you? Why Maybe don't you, you can help him. Yeah, why don't you show by modeling it um, if you start to act strange or <laughs> unusually? <laughs> Uh, maybe he'll be empowered. So can you do anything unique or special? Oh, this is fun. Can you? Okay. <laughs> All right. What's, what's going on now? Okay. So this is what can happen. You can unleash. She, <laughs> oh, looks oh, like it's working. He's here. Gary, it's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Gary has come out. Well, well this is amazing. I mean, uh, basically to get to the... Um, to where I want to go with this is that I'm going to become a character as well, okay? Here we go. So. And uh, there are some claws for you to wear if, if you want to try them on right over here. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, what we're doing right now is creating an alternative family picture. Uh, a group of people who, uh, as we slowly increase in numbers, the concept of what is normal will slowly become diluted. And the weird will become what might be attractive.
But think of it. If there was more weird and it was less weird to be weird, then would we have many of the problems and anxieties that we have when our preconceived ideas or our preconceptions of who we are start to change and are challenged by events that we have no control over? So, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Anita Crack and stuff because soon we'll be joined by more creatures. So, this is a family portrait that we choose to portray. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll also ask, oh, oh, I see we've done it. it it's worked, ladies and gentlemen. There's more of us now. We're starting to outnumber the audience. So are you guys ready? Family photo to join the one that's there. We want to thank you guys for, uh, for listening to the the idea of narcas fushpaturku fulus fushpatolos patombos or kaspatorspo, okay? Yeah, what he said. Hey, remember, it's just a costume. I was just wearing a mask. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, folks. I need a Kraken stop. Group hug. Group hug, Lado. All right, let's go. Give it up for Big Nazo.